Hello from New York. My name is Qing Gao. I'm a professor of social policy at Columbia University School of Social Work. I'm so honored and glad to join your discussion today on an important topic, universal basic income. And I want to congratulate you all for leading this effort in China. Some of you know that earlier this year, I published a book. It's called Welfare, Work, and Poverty, Social Assistance in China. This book provided a comprehensive examination of how Dibao worked and whether it helped reduce poverty. I learned many lessons writing this book. I want to highlight two with you today. The first lesson is that Dibao did reduce poverty in both urban and rural areas. But the reduction in poverty due to Dibao is modest. Through my research and through the research of many others, what I learned is that many families who are already receiving Dibao benefits are struggling to meet their health care and education needs. So that led me to think maybe it's time for us to reconsider and redefine what constitutes basic human needs. Universal basic income gives us that opportunity to let the people who get the benefit to consider and decide what are their most urgent and essential needs, and they could use the money in any way they like. The second lesson I learned, which I want to share, is that targeting is hard work, and precise targeting is almost impossible. In this context, again, UBI, or universal basic income, doesn't require precise targeting. So we could save a lot of costs in terms of personnel, money, and uh, social costs, such as stigma. So where should we go from here? One great thing that we probably are not so aware of is China already have a kind of universal basic income program. It's the subsidies to orphans and children with HIV AIDS. It was launched in 2011. We probably need to do more research to understand how well it's working, but we already have an example. So going forward, I would suggest two considerations. One is that we could conduct local experiments in different stages, and China has a great tradition of doing that with different social policies and programs. And we could do the same with UBI. A second suggestion I have, which is already happening today in this roundtable, is different groups come join together. We have representatives from international organizations, from the academia, from the government. And we coming together could build strong teams, could build in evaluation efforts from the get-go, and then really produce the evidence needed to make this policy a great success. I want to thank you again for inviting me to join in this important discussion, and I want to wish the roundtable a great success. I look forward to joining you in future again for the discussions.